Hey, great day, y'all. Real quick, ask yourself this question. You don't got to ask it out loud. You don't got to answer it out loud. But ask yourself this question. Am I being led by my ego or my God state, my divinity, my the highest version of me, my source, the part of me that operates from a place of nothing missing and nothing broken, my peace? Do Am I... Influence is my decision making influenced by those things, by that thing, or is it influenced by my ego? Our egos. I like how uh, I heard a gentleman say ego stands for edging God out. And it is because it's always an, an idea of you. Your ego is a self made idea of a version of you that is separate from the source within you. The abundant power that is within you. It's the version of you that you create, that you imagine, the illusion of you that you create that is without connection to the almighty power and source within you. That's why everything that your ego be talking about is rooted in lack. That's why your ego needs so much protection. Because your ego it's not connected to source. It's not connected to abundance. So it moves in a way of having to figure out what will allow it to survive. Source and abundance is on thriving mode, not surviving mode. If you missed my live the other day, or yesterday rather, I was talking about the difference between surviving and thriving in hopes that you would come to understand that there's different ways that you have been thinking operating and vibrating that are in our alignment with surviving and will never lead you to thriving you hear what i'm saying so ask yourself am i following my ego or my god state let's talk about what what i call the god state that greater version of you i know for sure that there's been a time where you have said something told me and you followed whatever that thing was that that something told you and you got a good result. And it wasn't until you got the good result that you realized that I followed some just instruction that was within me and it got me here. Uh, that something is your divinity. That something is that your God state. That something is the abundant version of you that knows the path to get you where to where you need to be. In the way of least resistance. In the way that's going to bring you the optimal amount of joy. And since you created no resistance to it. And you just followed this instructions that led you. To either where you wanted to be or to somewhere greater. If you listen to that same voice. If you understood that that something that you're referring to. Is the God within you. And you listen to that God within you more often. And then you didn't create a resistance to that guy within you more often. Greater things are going to happen. Greater shall you do. Greater shall you be. Greater shall you have. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's what I talk about in um in the Greater Existence book. Excuse me. The Greater Existence book is really all about that. Getting out of your way and tapping into a high level of greatness. I'm going to read you key number 36. If you stop using your memory to guide you, the past cannot recycle itself through you. You were born to direct your thoughts, not be directed by your thoughts. You are meant to use your emotions and control your emotions, not be controlled and used by your emotions. Making movements based on the past may easily damage the present and cripple future possibilities. Stay connected to source and soul. Allow them to guide you. Stop cycles. You stop cycles when you do something new. You cannot be moving in power in the power of your intention if you are reacting to something in your present based off of what happened in your past. Key number 36, the greater existence, 111 keys to walking in your infinity. That says it all. Follow source, 
Follow your soul, not your ego, not your doubts, not your fears, not your worries. You know, fear comes from, starts with indecision. Indecision leads to doubt, doubt leads to fear. That's in this book, Manifesting You. Unlearn and relearn some things with this book. 111 keys to unlocking your divinity. So you got plenty of options, plenty of tools that connect you back to the source, connect you back to that greater version of you. And you just need to get used to dealing with life the way the source within you would deal with it. Not the way your environment has told you to deal with it or got you used to dealing with it. Not the way that your feelings would have you deal with it. Not the way that people expect you to deal with it. How would the abundant version of you deal with it? Connect yourself to source. How would you handle that situation if you had more time? How would you deal with that situation if you had more money? How would you handle the situation if you had a fullness of love rather than looking at it from your hurt feelings? Like live in wholeness. You do have the opportunity, you know. I know you've been taught to always look at things from from a place of lack and that's why it seems first nature to even rely on your ego at times because that's what your ego is based in.